Hi everybody, welcome to PUBG, welcome to the training mode, welcome to the PlayStation 4, or well, this video definitely applies just as much to the Xbox and the PC versions of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. In this video, I'm going to kind of try and explain how I managed to get a rather lucky um, 372 meter headshot kill on a running target in Miramar. You'd have seen the video of that right at the beginning, you know, before I started talking. Um, because a lot of it starts here on the training mode um, and what you need to do is at least once a day go on the training mode and then pick up the sniper rifles say the car 98 or the m24 or the awm stick a scope on it doesn't really matter which one three times four times six times eight times and just start practicing hitting the various targets around the, the map but don't bother putting any attachments on um, because you may well be situations in game where you haven't got a cheat pad or an extended mag or a compensator or a silencer. Just just go with the, just go with the scope, and you can come over here, say to the where the moving targets are. Um, don't get right close, you know, and then just practice. It's just getting like that would have been a miss because it only hit the shoulder. And use the trick of when you press the f um, trigger to aim down sights. Keep your finger on the trigger because then it keeps you aimed down sights, and you can aim at these targets. And then you've got these ones. Ooh, that was a miss. And then you can look over here and you've got these targets. Which, and then what you can do is you can then come all the way over here. And you can stand next to the range if you want. There's normally somebody be right in your ear though. And you can practice just hitting these targets from, from a long way away, especially these moving targets. And you just get used to the feel of the gun. And you can do things like, you know, say stand here and go bong. And then like that. Then back to a middle one. Then a far one. Like that. And especially with these long targets, you, you start to get a feel of how much you need to lead the uh, the bullet and an idea of the bullet drop as well and then the well, probably the most important thing is that when you've done them been firing a lot at the stack it, static targets and the moving targets th these ones down here are pretty good actually these are really tricky to hit these ones these are the ones that pop out these are quite hard to track with a sniper Then what you do is you go after real people because you, you hardly get a chance to do this in, in games, especially if you play a lot of solos and you can practice just shooting and what you're looking for is headshots, even on people who aren't moving. Just practice just blatting them in the head and then you'll get moving targets. People tend to hang around at this end of the zone, right where have they gone? Looks like everybody's wandered off. Here we go, we've got some... That was a miss. Another miss. Another miss. That was a hit. And normally see when people are getting involved in their little gunfights where they're having, you know, fun with short range weapons. That gives you a chance to have a go at blatting them at long range. And most of them, as you'll see, you'll miss. Because when people are running around it's very difficult to predict where they're going to go. Oh, that was close. Very well, am I? High to the right. Good blood spurt for that one. Where's that guy going? 
We have a static target. So spend a lot of your time running around the training mode, just shooting at people. And then, and now this is the this is the real trick to how I got that 320, 372 meter headshot against a running target. And don't worry, I'll play it after I stop talking as well. And that is to have a go. Is that when you see an opportunity to hit a, tar a shot like that, give it a go. Um, if you look at the video, you'll see that I had to lead the target by a ridiculous amount. Um, I think the generally accepted figure is for each 100 meters of distance you need to lead uh, your target by a body's width right and so the guy I hit was almost 400 meters away so and I had so I had to lead him by about four bodies in fact I think it's more than that um, and then to get the kill I had to hit, hit him in the head so I had to raise the gun a little bit now there's a there's a lot less bullet drop than you would think even up to quite long distances but again the secret is just to have a go so if you see somebody running in the distance and you've got a sniper have a go <laughs> just have a go and there'll be 90 of them out of 100 you'll miss but those 10 will hit and maybe one of them will hit them in the head and as long as they're not wearing a level 3 helmet um, They'll, uh, they'll be dead, or even if they're not at full health with a level 3 helmet, you know, they'll be dead. But that's with the Car 98, with the M24, and the AWM bolt action sniper rifles. And that's that's the real thing. Because when you see the clips of people doing these amazing kills, you know, where they hit somebody driving past in a car, or someone who's like a thousand meters away, there's a thousand shots that they've missed, but they've had a go. You know, it's like Wayne Gres Gretzky said, isn't it? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And so, you know, that's what you've got to do to get those big, long, those impressive shots is you've got to have a go and see what happens. Okay, anyway, that's enough for me. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that'll help you improve your sniping a little bit. I mean, a couple of little things you can do as well. If you want to improve, like, your sway, you know, go down on one knee, um, press the left top shoulder button to hold your breath, that sort of thing, and just practice, practice, practice. Okay, if you've got any other questions or comments, please put them in the box down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.